This is me here. So, I did a previous video on this train right here, which was, I believe, uh, which was the Playmobil RCE train set, set number 4016 uh, from 1997. Well, we have another train or another train car that also go that that is also from 1997 but this is actually an additional car so today we're gonna look at a Playmobil the Playmobil Express train car set number 41199 I believe or 4119 um, so this is if you don't know what this is is actually an extension or like an upgrade for this train here so this is like a this is like this thing where you make it longer um, you can actually connect with the train and you can either connect it with this one or you could connect it with this one with the lights however I kind of think it look better to connect it with this one unless if I painted it just like this one but that'll be pointless because I can't plug the lights in when I have this train unless if I only want this one on but I can't do it on this one um, so let's get started on the train and take a look at it. Of course it's not a train, but I just, uh, it's a train car. Now, this is what the box looks like. It, you can see it shows a picture of them joined together. And this is what the box looked like. And this set is actually quite used. And it, it's quite large, as you can see, it's just large and it shows what you can do and I think you can even you can actually even put a car on it it doesn't it doesn't show but it did show somewhere in the box where a car is being placed or something I don't know but um for now we're just going to do a review on this car here so um, this train car here actually came with two figurines, however, they're not correct though. Um, the only thing that I got was the child, uh, but she's actually, well, she has the bike, it's actually in here. The bikes are in there, but I don't want to take it out though. Um, so, this bike here is... And this bike, it, it came with these two bikes, the red one and the and the one with the yellow wheels. So it came with the purple one and the red one. However, I did not get the figurine for this set here. Um, I had a, I only, well, I did find a figurine though, but it's not exact though. But he does sort of, um, I kind of think it looked okay because he's like, he has a white shirt. So it's not too bad. But it still isn't an exact copy of him. This is what the previous one looked like. He actually has a yellow shirt, and he also has a um, a backpack, which actually didn't really come with it. But this was the only train car that I can find that not only wasn't too expensive, but it was the only one that did come with things at least, because all the other ones didn't really came for it. And this set actually came all the way from New Jersey. That's pretty far, but I'm like in Canada, so I don't really think it should be too far, but it is quite far. This one actually, actually these two I believe came from Europe, while this one came from New Jersey. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at it. So, just like the regular RC train, it actually comes with uh, yellow seats, like the typical one, except for the new one. The, the newish one actually comes with red seats, but this one comes with yellow seats, like the other one there. Uh, the only difference is that since this is a more of a passenger or like an extension car, it actually is being, um, well, it actually doesn't, it only comes with one bogey thing. They call it a Jacob's bogey. Uh, because, well, that's how the train connects. The reason why I didn't come with it, folks, is because it was actually, what you would have to do is you would actually have to do what, what says in the box where the two of them are actually joined. So you can see the two of them, like, so one of these cars are like the truck, so 
this one has to use this one, well, there has to use the other one. That's why you didn't, it didn't come with it, because if it did, you wouldn't, like, like, where would you put the other bogey? So that's why they didn't come with it. I decided to put other passengers in there to make it a little bit better, even though it's still not enough, but you get what's going on. Now, as far as the space... Pretty much the whole train car is actually being taken up by these garage doors, which you can open up. You can also open it up on, on the other side. So if you wanted, you can you can actually basically um like like that. Now it did actually show in the in the train that it's intended for bikes and for very 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 small cars like a uh, smart car I believe there actually actually there was a car that is just like that uh, it was green and I believe I don't know what I don't remember what the set was called but if you google Playmobil smart cars you're gonna see a car that looks just like that it's actually quite small enough to fit there they also did had one that was also from the from the same series as this one but it was in red. Actually, you know what? I have a catalog for it, although it didn't really come with the set, but it came in other sets. But it does feature the train, however. Um, I think I had it here. I, I, I do have it. Um, I'll be back. Okay, there we go. I found it. It took a while for me, but... This is the one I was actually talking about. This is what the... Well, it's in a fire truck livery, but there is one where it's green. But if you had this train car and you had this smart car, it's hard to see, but it's there. If you had that one, that one is called a... That one is set 3177. If you had this one here, the mini... Not the mini, but the smart car this one right here, and you had this one, you would actually be able to put this car inside of this garage there. It's, like, wide enough. They also had another one that I think will look a little bit better because it's not a fire truck, but it's a taxi, I believe. This one right here. It's the same one, but it's a little bit more shorter. That one is from set number 4319. Um... I thought this was the, uh, I was kind of confused though, so I thought it was this one there. Um, I, however, this catalog though actually features this train here, but we'll talk about that when I do a review on that one. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So, they don't actually make the car anymore, but if they did, I wouldn't mind getting it. Um, although, I wasn't really too crazy about it. Now, the sad thing is that, since I don't have that car, I actually have these magic track cars, or these cars that they go on, like, uh, they call it magic track cars, like the glow-in-the-dark cars. Um, they don't exactly, they're not the same, but I thought it would be nice to actually put them in, because they actually do fit. And the size looks a little bit better, but the train is not supposed to be too big, though. But you can actually, if you had these cars, you would be able to fit in there. Since I don't have the the uh, smart car, I decided to just use these two Magic Track uh, Jeeps uh, to do the job. Um, they, they don't actually make the car anymore. I think they did have one, but it's slightly bigger that I don't know if it'll fit there. Um, but that's what you can do. So you can actually open and close the the um the garages so if you wanted you can actually uh close it like that and it's just like the other cars like i said where it had an open roof there try not to be concerned folks about it it's actually supposed to come like that it's not a so because if they did the antenna would be sticking up and it's it, it would have an issue so that's why they had to leave it open like this so they're not supposed to be closed um but yeah now the train can seat up to eight passengers, even though it would be nice if they sit um, more. But I, I think it, I think it's okay. I mean, you can if you want get multiples of these. Although 
I think only one is enough because these trains are like, uh, this is actually quite long. So since this train is so long, um, I would be very, very, I, I would have to be crazy not to get that thing. I would just say, no, I can't get another one unless if I had a lot of money, but I'm just grateful for what I have anyways. If I got only one, I got one. Um, you could, if you want, if you wanted to have one, well, just like the car, they don't make this train anymore. They don't make this train car. It would be cool if they had one where it goes with this train, but I think they'd stop doing that because they found out that the train requires light. So if they did it, it would kind of be pointless. You'll, you'll eventually see this train when it's driving, but for now, I'm going to use my other train here that I have. It's right here. There we go. Look at this train here. So, if you notice, the colors are exactly the same. It looks different because of the car. Yeah, the train can be squeaky sometimes. Now, this is what it's going to look like when it's joined up. Now, the bogey of it looks similar to the one from the other set. But the difference is that since this one is supposed to be like a trailing wheel, they decided not to add this hole there. So this is what the bottom looks like. looks totally different, but it does have the same shape. Um, so yeah, and just like the other car, it also does have an opening compartment. Now I had these ones from like the other set, which weren't really supposed to come with it, so I'm going to put it there. Um, you can put any luggages in there. That's like a cargo capacity thing. Um, it's kind of hidden though. Like if you looked at it, you won't even notice. It just looks like it, it's missing or something or whatever it is. So, yeah. And just like the other one, it for some reason comes with these, uh, what are they, rods of a train. It, it shouldn't really come with it because these bullet trains don't actually have rods in real life, but... I'm not going to take it out, though, because it could ruin it or something. Um, but, yeah. Now it's time to attach the train together. So, to attach the train, you very, very, very carefully join it in. It's kind of more of like a truck trailer where it has to be towed. Just like that. You see the knob goes there. And for the... I want to make sure the... Yeah, okay, so the tires are on the left. So it's this way, I have to flip it. So it has to be like this. And I gotta do this quick though, because my battery is starting to die. So I don't have time for this, folks. Um, I might actually have to do the other one at Easter holiday. Um, I don't know, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. As far as the train, it's actually quite long. And I think it's probably the longest type of car that they had ever made throughout the uh, Playmobil franchise. Um, it also come with this ramp here, which you can actually, you see, it's just tall enough. So if you had this, you can just drive your car up there or your bike. Um, there's actually, you know what? The, there's also, if you wondered what these things are, these were like for the bikes to sit on. I... I'm not going to take off the bikes, though, because if I take it out, it's hard to fix, you know. So I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. But I think you guys probably know how it would work anyways. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So my train still runs, even though it's, like, starting to lose energy. But this is what it's going to look like. Now, I decided that I'm going to add a flashlight here. I have this flashlight here I have. I'm going to add them to the, um, I'm going to put it right here to make it look better. So, I wonder if the train is going to work with this. Let's see, in three, two, one. Here goes nothing. Wow, it actually quite, it actually works even with that train. It's so long that, um, well, yeah. You'll, you'll know, you, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't know. Um, so, as far as the train, it's it actually works with it. Um, you can, if you want, get more of these. I did saw one where it was more of a custom than a real one, even though it did look real. 
but what it was was these two joined together and they kind of like uh I wouldn't I think they cut it in half or something and then they like um yeah so that's what they did and they try to make another train car for this one which actually did look good but for trying to find it for sale they never had it, it was actually a custom so if you guys are trying to find the passenger cars for this like an extension well this is the only one that they always had this was the only this was the real one even though it's more of a uh, kind of like a freight train or something I would say it still counts as a train um however I really wish that um that they still make trains like this like I said now if you guys are a fan of this particular train I recommend getting this thing up because it looks really good and it actually makes your train look better uh, just how long it is. It, at first, I didn't really like how long it was because it was, like, short. It looks better like this, I think, with the extension car. You know what? Since I added the extension car, I just feel like not to remove it. I feel like I want to leave it like this forever. Um, so, yeah. Now, you can see the battery is starting to die. Not only on my tablet, but on this train. But you can see that it is going. So... I'll be right back. I'm just going to fix the charging so that it works better, but I'll be back. Okay, I had to change the battery again, but this time it's going to run better. Now, keep in mind what I'm doing here is at fast speed, and it still does go fast. So, yeah. I think it looks better like this with the, with, with the train car because, I don't know... Usually you would expect the train to be long enough, okay? You wouldn't expect it to be short like this one unless if it was a shuttle train. Actually, you know what? That gave me a good idea. I should leave this one as a shuttle train. And this one can be more of a commuter or like those trains that go in the distance. That's pretty cool. I actually really like this car. Um, since I got this train car, it actually looks better. I just don't want to remove it anymore after looking at it. Um, 